Happy holidays. I'm Mark Levine, and I am proud to represent Marin and Sonoma counties in the California State Assembly. 2020 has been quite a year for all of us. This time of year, I would be inviting you to join me for my annual holiday open house. Join for some hot chocolate and donuts and celebrate the season together. But like many things, we're going virtual. So here we are and happy holidays. I'll be joined by a number of local leaders who will also share their holiday ingredients with you. First, I'd like to share this. We must do everything we can to keep ourselves and our loved ones healthy and well, especially in the coming weeks. We need to be safe so that our essential workers and our healthcare workers can continue to do their jobs to help members of our community who need assistance. It will be tough and it will be painful for many of us who yearn to celebrate the holidays with family and friends, but we must do this together to slow the spread of COVID-19. Even as my family shared what might've been a lonely Thanksgiving together, just my wife and my two children and me, I was filled with an abundance of gratitude for the blessings we do have that is powering me through this challenging season. Among my guests for our virtual open house are the presidents of the Board of Supervisors of Marin and Sonoma Counties to share a message with everyone. Hey, Mark and team and all Marin County, reach it out um, to wish you and yours a happy and a safe holiday season. Thanks so much for hanging in with us this really challenging year. Looking forward to seeing folks in person in 2021. Take care, bye. I just wanna take this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy holidays and to thank all of our state and federal legislators for working so hard on our behalf. It's been a very challenging year for all of us. Uh, homeless emergency, power shutdowns, tragic fires, and of course, COVID pandemic, which overlays everything. My message to you is take care of yourself. Be safe. We will get through this. Vaccinations are on their way. And take care of your families and your friends and neighbors. Be generous, be giving. If you can afford it, support the nonprofit organizations that feed and provide rental assistance to our struggling residents in the area. Thank you so much, and please have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, Supervisor Rice and Supervisor Gorin. In the last three years, our state has experienced a number of disasters, including many wildfires here in the North Bay. It's a reminder that this pandemic has not stopped the challenges that we were faced with before, like climate change. This one is one that we'll be working on for a long time to come. We like to wish everybody a happy holidays. And as a reminder, wildland fire prevention starts at home. And for information on how to prepare your home, please go to firesafemarin.org and firesafesonoma.org. And please sign up for emergency alerts at alertmarin.org and socoemergency.org. And please remember, wear your masks. Happy holidays, thank you. We've seen many organizations and businesses step up to help those most in need during this pandemic. Nonprofit organizations like Legal Aid of Sonoma County, which has been helping people in Sonoma for over 60 years, and Community Action Marin, which provides social services for the most vulnerable families and individuals in our community. They've both been critical partners during this pandemic. That's why I've also named them the, non, the North Bay's Nonprofit of the Year for 2019 and 2020, respectively. Another important partner and lifeline for many in our community are, are our food banks. In California, one in eight residents struggle with food insecurity, including 1.7 million children. In the North Bay, the Redwood Empire Food Bank and the San Francisco Marin Food Bank continue to do the work of distributing food all year round. Now, more than ever, these organizations need our support so they can continue to provide for our community. First, I just wanna thank everybody for the tremendous support that you've been providing over the past few months. Last year at this time, we were providing enough food to serve 11 million meals. And this year, same time, we're now up to 22 million meals. The only way we can do this is by receiving a complete serving from our generous supporters. And what does that mean? That means that we need your time because we can't do it alone, we never have. We need your food because we're a food bank and without food, we're entirely irrelevant. 
and we need your funds because without funds, we can't pay our dedicated staff, can't fuel our trucks, we can't refrigerate the food. So with the complete serving, we'll continue to do the work to provide nutritious food to our neighbors in need of help. On behalf of the Redwood Empire Food Bank, I wish everybody a happy holiday. We know that children need healthy and nutritious food. Thankfully, this was a concern for education leaders when the first shelter-in-place orders were implemented in March. In the North Bay, thanks to the quick thinking of local school districts and our county superintendents, schools continue to provide meals to students, even while they were learning from home. This brings another major priority for the new year. We must find a way to get our students back to school and ensure that students, teachers, and staff will be safe and healthy in the classroom. My colleagues and I have a tough job ahead of us, but we must find a way. Our local school leaders have also had a tough job of helping our students and teachers as they shifted abruptly to distance learning. So to all of our teachers who have worked so hard to continue teaching our students, thank you, thank you, thank you. So hi everybody, I'm very happy to have the opportunity to add my wishes for a wonderful holiday season to everybody in our community. This has been quite a challenging time as we all know, but what we have shown is our community has grit. We have a sense of purpose and we're willing to do whatever we can to keep others safe while we keep ourselves safe. So I wish for you a safe and healthy um, holiday season and want you to know on behalf of the children of our community how much we appreciate your support. It has made a difference and we are so blessed to be in a county with such incredible members. With that, happy holidays. Look forward to seeing you in the new year. On behalf of the Sonoma County Office of Education and myself as County Superintendent of Schools, I'd like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and safe holiday season. Throughout the pandemic, our nation has looked to Dr. Fauci for information and expertise on how to deal with COVID-19. There are a lot of people in the medical professions that I care to say thank you and I have so much gratitude for this year. From our doctors to our nurses, our medical technicians, our janitors who clean our hospitals. Locally, we have our own versions of Dr. Fauci who lead the way. Happy holidays, everyone. Here's the best possible holiday gift. This is our first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine in Marin County. 1,950 doses of the Pfizer vaccine on ultra cold storage on dry ice. We're about to move it downstairs to our ultra cold freezers. Um, and this is really the light at the end of the tunnel for us. We are experiencing surges in cases, ICU stays. Um, obviously we are in a really dark period in this pandemic. This is the beginning of, of the solution. So happy holidays. Thank you everyone for virtually participating in our holiday open house. I miss seeing everyone and sharing some good cheer. This year has been different in so many ways, but we will and we can get through this together. We need to do this. This holiday season, I hope many of you will support our, our local businesses. Shop local, eat local, pick up curbside or takeout. Our support of small and family owned businesses will make a major difference in supporting local jobs and making sure that our communities have those local businesses when we all can get vaccinated and be safe. It will take a little bit of time to get there, but we can do it together. Thank you, everyone. It's an honor to represent you in the State Assembly. My office continues to be available virtually to help you have a safe and happy holiday season. 